Um, yo, what's good? Uh, we're back for level four of CSS Grid. So, um, this is what we're going to be making today. For mobile, it's A, B, C, D, E. And for the large screens, desktop, it's A, B, C, D, E. Um, 12 columns and 12 row. Um, I literally just did this video, but like there was no volume, like you couldn't hear me. So I have to redo it. But yeah, uh, I don't mind because I'm still learning, you know? But um, yeah, <laughs> um, that's what we're doing this video. Level four, 12 column, 12 column, 12 row. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be making on a code sandbox. And yeah, I'm gonna get to that right now. Now, let me uh, move the camera out the way. Um, now, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, five divs, right? So we're gonna create a div for a container, and then we'll create five divs underneath that. So one, two, three, four, wait, is that five already? One, two, three, four, five, oh, that's five, all right. And then we're gonna put A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. All right, and that's basically it right now for the HTML. Now for the CSS, or not HTML, the JSX, but for the CSS, um, we're gonna do HTML slash body, and we're gonna do a margin of zero, padding of zero, and what's it called? Border one pixel solid red. And we're gonna do mobile development first, so let me actually change this to mobile. We're gonna do this first, and we're gonna go from mobile to large screen for best practices because it's easier to code a website mobile first, so. And we want the HTML body slash HTML and the body to span the full viewport. So we're gonna set the height to 100 view height and bang. And if you need help debugging your CSS, use border, one pixel solid, any color, it could be red, black, green, whatever you want. Um, yeah, and it'll help you figure stuff out, you know? That's for those who didn't know that already. And I'm kind of sick a little bit, so my bad if I'm sniffling and stuff. But yeah, now let's create our classes. We're gonna be using the dry method where we use uh, classes once one time. So display grid and I believe that's what it's called it's called the drive method but display grid then we create a class and put things in the center and we're gonna do place items center center and then we're gonna do what a uh, class for border and then we're gonna put border on 0 0.1 RAM solid red I'm gonna do a font size medium a font size a font size 2 rem um, what else I'm gonna do a height h-i-g-h-t -E of what um height height of 100 view height and is there anything else I need a gap? Gap, a grid gap, actually. Grid gap of 20 pixels. I uh, don't want to use 20 pixels. I'm going to use one run. All right. Now, I believe that's all we need for right now. Oh, no. Now I have to create our column. So I'm going to create a div name area. And in that div name area, I'm going to give it a grid template column areas. And I'm gonna create the areas for this right here. So level four. So 12 column grid and 12 column row. And A spans across the 12 columns. B spans across the 12 columns, but B seems to take up more space than A. C and D are like 50%, and E spans the whole 12 columns. Um, so that being said, I'm gonna do A. 12 columns 
I'm gonna spam across and I'm gonna do B B spans across all 12 columns um, and what else the C and D are half so I'll C and then halfway so I'd use D and then E spans a whole cross I believe Alright, so as you can see, um, A spans across the whole 12, so 4 plus 4 times 3, so it's in groups of 4 is 12. So 12 columns, bro. I'm um, 12 columns. So A, B, C, D, D, E, they all span 12 columns. 12, I can't even talk right now, but they all span the 12 column, you know? Because right here, as you can see, I'm trying to explain it the best I can, but right here, A's, the number of A's is represented at how many columns there are, right? So, so there's 12 A's across, meaning there's 12 columns for A, and A spans the full 12 columns, right? C and D, uh, C doesn't span the full column like A does, it spans half, so... For C, I put C until halfway, and then I switched and put D for the rest of the halfway. So it would span half like this. E spans the full 12 columns, so it's like that. All right, so, so um, and now we're gonna do rows. So we're gonna basically do the same thing, but up and down. So let's see, B is the biggest, so B has, take. B has more rows than A, C, and D. So B is the biggest. So I want B to have one, two, three, four. Do everything in groups of four. Four rows for right now. I'm gonna do A with one, two, two rows for right now. I'm gonna do C, C, D, D with two for right now, and E, E with two for right now and I'm gonna do spaces in between every fourth one okay now it seems like we have we don't have four across we have one two three four. Oh, we actually have five on this one on one two three four we have four I'm tripping one two three four one two so A has two rows, or A takes up two rows. B takes up one, two, three, four, four. C and D take up two, and E and E take up two. All together, since we need 12 rows, right? A 12 row grid. That right now is four, eight. So we're missing two more. So I'm just gonna add the two more from B since B needs to be the biggest. So one, two, I'm gonna indent that and I'm gonna delete this indentation and bam. So four, 12 column row down and 12, no 12 row. So it's a 12 row grid down and 12 columns. So we did that. Now it's time to map everything together. So I'm gonna create a class name A and put a grid or not grid yeah grid area of a b with a grid area of b c with the grid area of c a b c d d grid area of d and then e grid area And that's basically it. So that's it for our CSS right now. And now it's time to plug that into our uh, JSX. So now we're gonna make the container and grid. So put grid on container and make its children grids as well. So grid, 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 and grid. All right, and then we want the things to be center. So center, center, you can see it right here. S-C-N-T-R, center, 
center and center. And I'm gonna put a border as well. And then I'll put a height H E H E I G H T here and it turns a full twelve. We're gonna add the gap. What else do we need to add? Uh I think that's basically it. Alright, no, we have to add the area. Alright. Now it's time. So I'm gonna put A for that, B for this, C for that, D for this. And E for that. And we completed the mobile part of level four. Now that's the development for the mobile part. Now uh, let's do the large screen for the desktop. So I'm going to add a media query. So at media screen and a min width of 1400 pixels. And I'm gonna put a dot area because that's what we're gonna change. And I'm gonna copy our grid area and I'm gonna paste it here. And yeah. So now what is the grid area for the new one? So A, B, E, C, D, E. Okay. So A spans a full like row across. So leave it A like that. B's, B and then E. So I'm gonna do for that, or so I'm gonna do it like this: B B B B space B B B B. And then for the last four columns, I'm gonna put E E E E. And then for same thing for C and D, I believe. So C C C C D D D D E E E E. All right. And also, let me make this 14 desktop there. Dang it, I already did it with that. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't. Well, yeah, I did. <laughs> Dang, I didn't even get a chance to even. Ah, that'd be cheating. I have to do the full 12 column row, so I still have to put it in. All right, so, because right now, as you see, there's only three rows, and it asks for 12 row grid, so. Yeah, if it did it with three rows, I'm gonna have to continue. I'm gonna have to do the full twelve row. So that means is I'm gonna copy and paste a lot. So the B one seems to be the biggest out of A C. So I'm gonna copy B. I'm gonna paste it a lot of times. Okay, I'm gonna copy A. I'm probably gonna paste it twice. And C C D D and paste it twice. And let me try to group everything in fours. Okay. So I can copy A and do that. All right. So, it seems like that's too big. So, I'm going to delete that and put that there. Ah, that's what I wanted. And then, for that, I'm going to copy this, put that there, and copy this. And put that there. And bang. Now that's 12 columns and 12 rows, and I'm not, so I'm not cheating. B is the biggest, C and D, E, A, everything matches. So, yeah. Let's see, media queries, it gets smaller than 1400. It goes back to the other one, it gets bigger than 1400. It goes to this one. And that's basically everything. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. So, with that being said, um, yeah, I think that's it for the video. Um, we completed level four. It was kind of easy, but 
The next one is level five, a bit more complex. Now it's three media queries, but it looks interesting. And yeah, uh, I really like these exercises. They help you with grid layouts and media responsiveness and stuff like that. It's cool. But with that being said, guys, and peace out.